G'day everyone, I'm Jason and today I'm just going to take you on a quick view of Itch, um, having a look at a few of the features but not in too much detail, just a, a quick look over uh, some of the ways that you uh, can use it. So uh, first of all we want to uh, start by uh, going to our main screen and we can see different courses that are available depending on your catalogue. Uh, I put the teacher courses usually down below here for how to um, use Itch in your classroom or creating your own courses uh, once you have your own academy with us. Uh, so we're going to click on here to go into a course um, and here's where we actually sign up. We click take this course and I can click register as a new student and just put my name as uh, uh, Jason Test for now um, and I'm going to call myself Test01. And you can watch this video on the left. It's about the course if you like. Uh, so once you sign up, um, it'll take us into the uh, starting screen where we can see um, this video that you're probably watching right now. Uh, I can click to not show that again. Close that. So now I'm into the, the actual course and I will be able to um, see the you know work, workspace area. Uh, the course over on the left here, I just... Uh, can open and collapse this side panel which is the uh, overall kind of like uh, instruction and different videos and, and things on the left. There's a discussion board um, where I usually set up uh, for students to be able to ask questions and um, for now we're going to go into the breakout course and uh, from here uh, you'll see once we're in the breakout course there's a number of lessons over on the right uh, I have the same video uh, for working around the workspace here. Um, you can click next to go to the next one. Um, we're going to go back though and we're going to dive right into bouncing off blocks and paddles. Uh, so this is uh, some instructions that instructional video with written directions below in case you have trouble with the videos. Uh, but you can go in and you can play these videos. I'm going to shrink this down on the left. And I'm going to make this either full screen to get it uh, is the best option here or I'm going to go to small stage layout so I get more workspace so it's time me to go to control and it's saying to grab the if block so I'm waiting until it tells me where to put it it's saying to put it under the move ball so I'm going to put that underneath and follow to the directions to do that and so that's uh, how you connect in the blocks. You can pause this and um, keep going or rewind if you miss something. If you want to break these apart, uh, you can just pull one off and put this one back. For instance, if I wanted to delete this block. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of how to uh, connect things in. Um, and then on the side panel here, we have a couple of other options. This is the instructions we're looking at right now. We can shrink this and make it big again. We can ask questions uh, about um, the different code blocks in here. So for instance, there's a number of different um, help that uh, comes with uh, itch itself, but you can also, um, you know, if you're on the main panel here, I can also click the question block and get help on any of the uh, sprites as well. So uh, one other option here that we've added is the ability to ask questions and take a snapshot of your code. Uh, that'll get submitted to your um, course activity wall that the teacher can look at um, and also on your project. Uh, we can go to the project page to see other projects and here you can have a, a number of options of how to see either all of the course projects, just your own projects, any uh, projects you might have submitted. Um, you submit projects and do other things by clicking on the project and you can go and look at submitting it for grading. Um, and you can also share. So if you copy that link, uh, you can share your project with other uh, folks like your parents or family if you want. Um, you have to make sure your project is set to be public to do that. Um, and I think that's about it for the um, main options here. But once we're inside, uh, there's a few other uh, points here that a lot of people miss. 
Uh, these are called sprites and we can add new ones of those um, by putting characters on our screen and a lot of the directions that we have will talk about that um, and we can also even change the background uh, so we can look at like different backgrounds if we're going to change our background to a bedroom for instance uh, then you can do that so uh, you, once you've kind of finished with that you can um, go through uh, any of the surveys if you like um, it's completely optional to do those or ask questions um, to us um, but uh, drop us a line let us know how you're doing and if you're having fun so come on in and have fun working on your next itch project